मास मास कर मूरख झगड़े ज्ञान ध्यान नहीं जाने कौन मास कौन साग कहा किसमें पाप समाने गुरुमुखे कूड़ न पा गई सच्चे रते सच पाए वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह जी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू सेंड अ मैसेज आउट टू दोस सिंग्स हु आर इन द संगत ऑफ ग्रुप्स लाइक अखंड कीर्तनी जथा हु मे बी न्यू इनिशिएट्स इनटू द अखंड कीर्तनी जथा एम ओ हु आर part of other groups where the rahat maryada or the beliefs or practices may differ to what you're hearing in this video i would also like to remind you that what you're hearing in this video is less of my opinion and more references from itihas cross references between gurbani and itihas and extractions from puratan rahats it is of course everybody's own personal choice what they believe to follow how much research they do and what changes they make but i am fully aware that for those people who are new into sikhi this can all seem quite daunting especially if the only exposure that you had is within that own little sangat that you're currently experiencing or the jatha that you've been initiated into so sometimes it seems like that the panth is represented by your group when in actual fact the truth is that your group is probably just a tiny percentage of the panth not that numbers are important the only thing that's important is the truth but the reason i mention this is some people start to feel isolated and because of that they feel threatened and they feel like they're being backed into a corner which only strengthens their bond in that group our binti to you is that the only bond you should be creating is between you and guru gobind singh ji is between you and guru math is between you and the truth i am in no terms claiming to be the authority on truth all that i'm doing is presenting evidence research is for everybody to make up their own minds and decide what they choose to believe or not furthermore i wouldn't expect you to believe what i say i wouldn't want you to believe what i say what i would hope is that you listen and make notes on the references which are being mentioned in this video and that you go and do your own research and read those references from source yourselves This is exactly what we hope to encourage for people to question everybody they hear speak and to question everything that they read and to become koji and do their own original research and we say this because we have complete and full confidence that when the panth wakes up and starts to do their own research there will be ekta in the panth because there is only one version of the truth and it the has in absolute crystal clear terms gives that one version of the truth irrelevant of what people lead you to believe for those good sikhs that are listening and have done research and this makes sense to them we'd like you to know that there is thousands of more good sikhs out there outside of your circle who are chardikla nitnami khoji sarbloi do masses of naam bhakti do shastra vidya do amazing seva in the panth there's lots of them they don't necessarily belong to jathebandiyan they may or they may not but you should take confidence in this fact and be brave enough to find that sangat which fits what you think is the truth all you need to do is a heartfelt ardas to sri vahiguru ji 
A heartfelt bainti never goes unheard. But there is a condition. Satguru helps those who help themselves. You can't just do an adas and then sit back on your sofa and expect Panj Chardi blessings to turn up on your doorstep. If you want a Koji Sangat, if you want a Sangat that tries to follow the original practices of Gurudev, then you yourself need to become a Koji Singh. You yourself need to do Udham. You yourself need to step up. You yourself need to become that which you seek. In this way, when you make an effort, you shall absolutely receive Paramatma's blessings. We would also like to make a little point about the excellent video that Gurmat Vibek Singhs have put out there. It's very well directed, it's got great titling, um, it's very well presented. The Singhs are immaculately dressed. But an interesting thing is that they present their vichar as Banja Singhs, which is also nice. As this gives a message of authority, because where Banja Singhs speak, there is authority. But I would ask the Sangha to still think outside of the box. There is nothing higher than the truth. The truth is found through Koj, through Ardas. So please don't think that just because Banja Singh are standing there presenting a coordinated version of their truth, which is based upon the founder of their Jatha, that what they're saying is in fact all truth. The truth is found in Gurbani, in Itahas and in Rehat, where all three of these align. I'm already guessing that the reply to these videos is going to be a big anti itahas campaign, which I've seen many a time. And these people will say that in this Granth, so-and-so is written, which is anti-Gurmat. They may mention something about Sukha being taken. They may mention something about Devi Puja. They may mention a whole host of what is perceived as concerns. With time, we hope to present a considered approach to all of the concerns and controversies these people pull out regarding Itahas. As we said in our previous video, not everything is black and white. The beauty of Sikh Itahas is that it is also very deep and it is written in poetical form, so it uses poetical tools such as metaphors, similes, allegorical examples. These are never considered. So please don't let these kind of discussions put you off Ittahas. If it wasn't for Ittahas, there would be no evidence of the Khalsa Panth. There would be no Panj Pyare. There would be no Panj Kakar. There would be no Nitnam. There would be no Rehat. There would be no amazing motivation of our Pratan Shaheeds like Pai Taru Singh, Pai Subeg Singh, Pai Shabaz Singh, Baba Deep Singh, Banda Bahadur, Baba Gurbak Singh Nahang, Pai Bota Singh, Pai Garja Singh, and hundreds of more. Without Itahas, you would not know about these people. And it's in the same Itahas where you learn about all of these amazing Shaheeds that all of our evidence is extracted from. Without Itahas, you would not know about the Qurbani of the Char Sahib Zadeh. Without it, Tahas, you would not know about Guru Gobind Singh's many wars. Without it, Tahas, there would be no evidence of all of the many historical Gurdwari in India and Pakistan. So please don't be so quick to dismiss our ocean of treasure, which is our Sikh Tahas. Okay, so back to the Gurmat Bibek video. The majority of this video is made up of what we consider to be misrepresentation of Bhangtiya in Gurbani. These are quoted and then a very emotive explanation is given. We will try and cover one Bhangtiya at a time in these videos to do them justice. So let's listen to the first one. <laughs> ਮਾਸ ਨਾ ਖਾਣ ਦਾ ਮੁੱਢ ਧਰਮ ਦੇ ਮੁੱਢਲੇ ਸਿਧਾਂਤ ਦਇਆ ਤੋਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਬਾਣੀ ਵਿੱਚ ਧਰਮ ਨੂੰ ਦਇਆ ਦਾ ਪੁੱਤਰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਹੈ ਤੌਲ ਧਰਮ ਦਇਆ ਕਾ ਪੂਤ ਸੰਤੋਖ ਥਾਪ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਜਿਨ ਸੂਤ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਭਾਵ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਧਰਮ ਉੱਥੇ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਦਇਆ ਹੋਵੇ ਅਤੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਦਇਆ ਨਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਉੱਥ
ਔਰੰਗਜ਼ੇਬ ਸ਼ਰਈ ਅਤੇ ਧਾਰਮਿਕ ਤਾਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੀ ਪਰ ਉਸ ਪਾਸ ਦਇਆ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਜਿਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਗੁਰਮਤ ਅਨੁਸਾਰ ਉਹ ਧਰਮੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਧੌਲ ਧਰਮ ਦਇਆ ਕਾ ਪੂਤ ਸੰਤੋਖ ਥਾ ਪੇ ਰਖਿਆ ਜਿਨੀ ਸੂਤੇ ਧਰਮ ਇਜ਼ ਇੰਡੀਡ ਦ ਪੁੱਤਰ ਆਫ ਦਇਆ because the manifestation of dharm in itself throughout the yugas throughout the ages has been that of justice the need for justice exists because of the oppression of the poor and the meek and the downtrodden he says where there is no there there cannot be dharm of course this is right he further gives an example of ranga and says that oranga was a sharia panthi so basically somebody who was strong in following the rahat of his dharm the rahat is a foundation as the sharia is a foundation for one to live a life according to basic rules of dharm but it is just a foundation stone upon this foundation stone needs to be built bhakti but also karam there's no point being strong in the head if you can't make a difference in this world if you can't help others if you can't teach others if you can't make a positive contribution to society so of course we agree with this point isi tarah je kise sikh vich daya na hove ta samjho ke us vich dharm vi nahi hai khan wala maas prapt karan layi daya nu tilanjri deni pendi hai ਜਾਨਵਰ ਦੀ ਬੇਰਹਿਮੀ ਨਾਲ ਹੱਤਿਆ ਕੀਤੇ ਬਗੈਰ ਕਦੇ ਵੀ ਮਾਸ ਹਾਸਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਦਇਆ ਦਾ ਤਕਾਜ਼ਾ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖ ਮਾਸ ਨਾ ਖਾਵੇ ਪਰ ਦੈਨ ਅਨਫੋਰਚੂਨੇਟਲੀ ਹੀ ਮੇਕਸ ਅ ਗ੍ਰੇਵ ਮਿਸਟੇਕ ਹੀ ਮੇਕਸ ਅਨ ਐਬਸੋਲੂਟਲੀ ਪਥੈਟਿਕ ਕਨੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਥੋਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਈਟ ਮਾਸ ਐਂਡ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਅ ਧਰਮੀ ਸੋ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਅਕਿਊਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅੰਗਦ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਅਮਰਦਾਸ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਹਰਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਮਿਲੀਅਨਸ ਆਫ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਸਿੰਘਸ ਓਵਰ ਦ ਲਾਸਟ 300 ਈਅਰਸ ਆਫ ਨਾਟ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਧਰਮੀ देयर ਆਰ ਮੈਨੀ ਮੈਨੀ ਰੈਫਰੈਂਸਸ ਇਨ ਮੈਨੀ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਇਤਿਹਾਸਿਕ ਗ੍ਰੰਥਸ ਅਨਐਡਿਟਿਡ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਜਟਕਾ ਆਫ ਦ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਜਟਕਾ of them hunting of them eating their hunt the rahat say this the itihas says this so does this make our gurus and our puratan khalsa adharmi in my personal view that's a very scandalous statement to make a very dangerous statement to make furthermore the panthak rahat maryada which akhand kitni jatha claim to follow clearly says that kutta mass is the only mass which cannot be eaten now although a kind of kitni jatha will give their own definition of kutta mass taken from pyrandir singh the definition given by the actual rahat which exists is that kutta mass is mass killed in the islamic manner i e slit the throat and bled to death the alternative to this is a jhatka where an animal is killed instantaneously this can be through shikar this can be with a bullet this can be with an arrow this can be with decapitation the point of a jhatka is that the animal is killed instantly and does not suffer any pain now here's the funny thing jatka in itself ensures there in the video the singh says that the animals are killed in beremi when jatka is performed an animal is not killed mercilessly it does not suffer extreme pain the only reason these people say this is because they've had no personal experience of jatka they themselves have never jatkaard an animal they have never been present when it's happened they don't know the process they don't know how the animal is kept beforehand 
They don't know how the animal is calmed. They don't know how the animal is distracted at the point of a jatka. They don't know the science behind the fact that when the head is instantly separated from the body, the animal is dead. These people think that the reflexes they see of the muscles twitching because the nerves are still firing is something to do with the animal being alive and feeling pain. The head is separated from the body. What you see is just a continuous reaction of the nerves. This is an absolutely basic fact known by mankind for hundreds and thousands of years. But this just shows how out of touch we are with animal kingdom, with nature, with our own surroundings, with our own food. To demonstrate the point that you can't call those who eat mass a dharmi, please read the following sakhi. There are many sakhiya in our itahas, but this sakhi absolutely cannot be disputed. It appears consistently in many Tahasik grants, but the earliest one being one called Amarnama. Amarnama is an eyewitness account from Guru Gobind Singh's own Darbari Tadi, whose name was Nath Mal. He gives an account of the last days of Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji at Nandir. And in this account, it clearly shows that Guru Gobind Singh requested the Khalsa to jatka all of Banda Bahadur's goats, his pet goats. So going by this Singh's definition, he is saying that Guru Gobind Singh is a Dharmi. He is saying that the Satkar Jog Singhs that were surrounding our Guru and supporting our Guru at that time were a Dharmi. According to this Singh, Madhudas, who attacked Guru Gobind Singh when he found out that his pet goats had been killed because he was a fanatical vegetarian. According to this Singh, Madhu Das, before meeting Guru Gobind Singh, was Dharmi. Vaheguru Daya Karn Wala hai, jis kar ke usda na Dayal hai. Sikh Dayal Vaheguru ke Daya di Peek Mangda hai, ati nana prakari bintiyan karda hai. He also says, ke Vaheguru Daya Karn Wala hai, taan ke uska naam Dayal hai. Yes, we agree. We agree with Paramatma and Satguru's definition of Daya, not with his. How can on one hand he say that an animal being killed in Beremi is not Daya, knowing the Khalsa kill animals instantaneously, yet in Paramatma's natural world, animals who are hunted by predators are killed in a way Many people, especially these, would consider mercilessly. To us, there is no cruelty in the animal world. Everything in nature is perfect. If a bunch of wild dogs on the Serengeti Plains hunts an antelope, how is that antelope killed? Some of the dogs will hold the front leg, some of the dogs will hold the back legs. One of the dogs will go and bite the nose and the mouth of the antelope, they will pull it down. The other dogs will rip open his stomach and start eating it alive. Does that fit the definition of there of Paramatma that this person is claiming? It certainly fits our definition. Paramatma is there one and all life exists in a circle. For one thing to live, another thing must die. Everything is connected. If you compare how a Jatkard animal is instantly killed without even having the slightest inclination that it's about to be killed, being absolutely calm compared to what you would see in the natural world, there's a massive difference. If anything, this person should do more research, should study the natural world, should watch National Geographic, Animal Planet, maybe get a cable TV subscription. Not all TV is bad. And learn something about the way the world really works. Then maybe he should meet some Nahang Singhs, go to Hazur Sahib, Nandir. I'm not sure if these people have ever been there. They're in for a massive shock if they go. And he should be present during a Jatka. The times to go are special occasions like Diwali, Holla Mahalla, 
Dusera, Vasaki, and he and his friends will be blessed to see what Deya actually is compared to the natural world. But if you don't have any life to Deya, and you kill them and kill them, then you need to ask them that they don't want to give them a chance to give them a chance. He then says, if you don't have any life to Deya, he uses the word Ji or Jeev. Now this is another big misinterpretation of Gurmukhi and Gurmat. These people use the word Jeev just to refer to animals. The word Jeev refers to life. Life includes plants. In the Jurassic Luck cycle, the Atma is born as animal but also as plant. So these people pick and choose the application of certain words, which is a little bit dishonest. Because the way that the human life will be done, the way that the human life will be done, the way that the human life will be done. He then says, the way that the human life will be done, the way that the human life will be done, the way that the human life will be done. The Khals has killed an animal in the most peaceful, unpainful way possible. So if his words hold true, when the time of our death arrives, if we were to die so quickly and so peacefully, surely that would be a blessing. How many of you have seen a relative die with your own eyes? How many of you have seen a relative die in hospital? How many of you have seen a relative suffer? Compare that to any of the Jatka videos which you see on the internet. What suffered more? The goat in a fraction of a second when it didn't even know his head was coming off. Or that relative that had pain in his eyes, that had fear in his eyes, who was already missing his family that he knew he would not see again in a few moments time. The Khalsa are soldiers. The ultimate dream for any Khalsa is to die in battle. So if in battle a Khalsa dies instantaneously, surely that's a blessing. Surely the Khalsa should not be taught to be afraid to die. The tactics these people seem to be using are the missionary Abrahamic tactics of putting fear into people. So by putting fear into you, that if you kill an animal, you may die a painful death. They're trying to force you to not partake in Jatka Mas, in that food which is Pravan to you, which is allowable to you. Avare Basna Nahe Prab Dharam Yudke Chai. Guru Gubin Singh Ji says, I have no other reason to exist other than to wage righteous war. Why would the Khalsa be scared of slaughtering an animal in mercy? with compassion, instantly. If anything, Jhatka teaches the Khalsa a very practical and real-world version of their. Because Jhatka teaches you to end an animal's life instantaneously. And so the same would be in the old days in the battlefield. The Khalsa had the skill to do Jhatka on the battlefield. Evidence of this is found in Gursoba Granth written by Kavi Senapati. Evidence of this is found in Sri Dasam Granth Sahib Ji. Just read up on the woes of Guru Gobind Singh Ji. Much detail is given. And there are amazing accounts of various types of Jatka occurring on the battlefield. Enemies are killed instantly. Even in war, the Khalsa has there. But that skill of there has been learnt and has been maintained and is executed because Sri Guru Gobind Singh Ji gave this Maryada to the Khalsa. Everything that these people say will end up getting turned on his head because Guru Gobind Singh's wisdom cannot be challenged, it cannot be changed. With this, we end part two of our response. Pullandi Khema Saad Sangrath Ji. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa. 
ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਜੀ